Hello, we're here with Naeem Hussein, the president of Connect M. Naeem, great to see you. Thanks for coming down to Orlando. Thank you, Craig. Pleasure to be here. Now, Naeem, Connect M operates at the intersection of electrification and AI-driven energy intelligence. Your approach has been compared to the Berkshire Hathaway for electrification. Can you explain what that means? Absolutely. Uh, now, most players in our space operate in a distinct segment of the market. There are pure play solar companies or pure play EV companies. Now, these companies are more susceptible to your boom-bust cycles in the market, right? And we've recently seen that in the solar space where it's in a little bit of a correction right now, right? So we take a page out of the Berkshire Hathaway model in which we uh, consider ourselves value investors. We consider ourselves exceptional um, identifiers of talent. Uh, from a management team perspective. And then we also take a diversified approach to the industry. So uh, on top of that Berkshire Hathaway playbook, we apply an electrification theme. And, and thus we are building one of the world's first and largest constellation of electrification themed businesses. We take a diversified approach across different segments like home and building electrification and EV solutions and this means we can allocate capital where there's not only strong growth rates, but low penetration and low innovation. Now, Naeem, the electrification market is estimated to be a multi-trillion dollar opportunity. How do you plan to continue to penetrate this? Is it a clean tech market? No, I'm glad you asked that, Craig. Um, firstly, a lot of investors do classify us as a clean tech company, and we view that uh, classification as a bit dated. It doesn't really speak to where we are as a global economy in 2025. Uh, I think of ourselves as a key player in the modern energy economy. And when we think about what a modern energy economy is, we really view it as three distinct buckets. One is energy generation. Two is energy transmission and distribution. And three is energy consumption. And that's the place where we play currently, is the consumption piece. Now, when you think about energy consumption, that's really any asset globally that uses energy to operate. So this can be a piece of device, a piece of equipment, a large machinery, a vehicle, right? Uh, and that would be typically burning fossil fuel to operate. We believe that these assets are going to be electrified and connected to the cloud going forward. So fundamentally, that's a multi-trillion dollar asset base that will be switching away from burning these fossil fuels to operate and will be increasingly cloud connected. Now, Craig, the stark reality is when you're burning a fossil fuel to operate something, it's horribly inefficient, right? So take any unit, let's take a gallon of gas, right? If you're burning a gallon of gas to operate a vehicle, two thirds of that gallon is immediately wasted as heat loss, right? So for every gallon, only one third of that gallon is actually being used for useful work or energy, right? So when your baseline is so bad, um, layering on electrification, shifting away from that fossil fuel usage to electrification, you see a huge jump in energy efficiency, in ROI, payback period, uh, as well as uh, sustainability. Right? So ConnectM invests in partners with companies that are electrifying assets to operate much more efficiently and effectively and also provides cloud connectivity and intelligence for those assets. You know, Naeem, that leads to a question about your revenue stream. It is diversified. It includes product sales, software subscriptions, and managed service agreements. How does your model support strong margins and long-term growth? That's a great question, Craig. The beauty of our Constellation model is the diversity of customers and income streams that we have today. Our companies range from service providers that use our digital platform to provide electrified heating and cooling and distributed energy products to homeowners all the way up through commercial building operators, as well as OEMs like Volvo that manufacture massive electric vehicles like electric buses and electric trucks. Now, many of our companies 
have high margin recurring revenue products as a component of their offering. And we're trending towards a higher percentage of software subscriptions in our revenue mix. So this means that operating margins will approach 40% in 2025, and we are seeing a larger amount of software um, subscriptions uh, to be part of that revenue mix in 2026 and beyond. Our managed service agreement structure really allows us to stay asset light as we grow. We don't need a massive sales force or operations team. In fact, our customers often have large sales forces, and that's the beauty of this structure. It's a B2B2C model. Let's turn now to data collection, Naeem. You and I have been talking about this off camera. It's a big component of your business, and you have 120,000, more than 120,000 electrified assets in your network collecting massive amounts of data every single day. Now, how does this data-driven approach create that flywheel effect on your business? I'm glad you asked this, Craig. Uh, so we call this our energy intelligence network, and that's really at the core uh, of ConnectM. So at our hold co level, we are aggregating real-time operating data from over 120,000 assets across all our portfolio companies. We call this connected operations. So whether it's a heat pump in Connecticut or an electric bus in Bangalore, all of these assets roll up to become nodes on our energy intelligence network. We collect over 30 gigabytes of data daily, which has allowed us to build quite accurate AI models on how these assets behave over time, their health over time, usage patterns, and operating parameters. So our flywheel works like this. The more data that we collect, the better our AI models get. The better those models get, the more valuable products and services we are able to offer our customer base. The more products and services we offer our customers, the more customers we accrue, and then the more data flows into our model, allowing that flywheel to really flow. And to be clear, Craig, data for us is a strong moat. Many people think that AI inference scales linearly. The reality is for every percentage point of inference model accuracy increase, we need roughly double the amount of training data. And that's precisely what we see happening in 2025. We see ourselves going from 30 gigabytes collected daily to 60 gigabytes collected daily uh, coming into this year. Naeem, ConnectM has posted 20 quarters of revenue growth. What do you attribute that consistency to, and how do you expect the momentum to continue? Yeah, Craig, going back to our Constellation model, we look to deploy capital into large addressable markets with low penetration, low innovation, and double-digit compound annual growth rates. Those are really what we look for in the markets that we play in, right? So we don't make large pure play bets, as I discussed, and we don't over leverage. So yes, you're not likely to see us 10x from one quarter to the next, only to slow down drastically a few quarters later, but you will see a steadily increase revenue quarter over quarter, steadily increase margins quarter over quarter, uh, and that's how we really like to operate the business. Final question, Naeem, the essential value proposition. Tell us flat out, why should an investor take an interest in ConnectM right now? Our value proposition as a constellation of electrification themed businesses is our ability to value invest. Hit a minimum 30% return on invested capital hurdle, control our weighted average cost of capital, and find and nurture excellent management teams to grow revenue and profitability. Now our leadership's track record speaks for itself in the billions of dollars of enterprise value that we've created over our careers. Now, I do believe that our company's valuation today is dislocated uh, from its fundamental value, whether you look at it from a DCF analysis or a comparables analysis or a financial statement analysis. Um, and all I can say is I'm extremely excited and bullish on the company's prospects, uh, growing revenue, as you mentioned, quarter over quarter, very steadily, increasing, increasing profitability, deleveraging our balance sheet. All of those activities are going swimmingly and we're very, very positive about 2025 and beyond. Naeem, that is an exciting story. Thanks for being with us. Craig, it was my pleasure. I'm glad I got to come in today. <laughs>